Welcome to Destination Central. Now this week we have a big road trip discovering the great spots around Katikati, Waihi and Waihi Beach. Now an interesting fact I picked up along the way is that while Waihi and Waihi Beach are just a 14 minute drive apart, they are separated into two different regions. So while Katikati and Waihi Beach are part of the Bay of Plenty, Waihi is part of the Waikato. Now today we are starting off by heading to the western Bay town of Katikati. Our first location is perfect for that weekend getaway you've been craving. With 14 spacious rooms, let's take a look at Kaimai View Motel. Hi Bruce, now tell me about your accommodation, Kaimai View Motel. Kaimai View Motel was built in December 2000. We are its third owners. We took over here in August 2012. We keep it up to standard and we keep it as if it was brand new. So we like to, uh, people come in here, they think they're in a new motel. And can you talk me through your 14 units? The 14 units consist of five uh, studio units, which have queen size beds, which sleep two people. We have two two bedroom units, which sleep up to seven. We have seven one bedroom units, which sleep up to four, and we can also close those off and make them into studio units. We also have two access, full access units for wheelchairs, uh, one studio and one one bedroom unit. Each room has its own ensuite with a shower, toilet, and hand basin. Then inside we have uh, all 32 inch color TV sets, all with free view on them. Um, we also have DVD players in each room. We're also outside each room is a, um, an outside table and two chairs so you can sit down and relax in the summer outside, have a drink and it's, it's very pleasant out there. So what other facilities do you offer here? We have a solar heated swimming pool when the sun's out. We have free Wi-Fi. Uh, we, we do cook and continental breakfasts. Um, and we just generally have a nice, comfortable place, really. And what would you say is unique about your accommodation? I think I'm unique about this accommodation. <laughs> you know, we welcome them to our home and, and we strive to make them feel comfortable and, and, you know, if they want something, we'll try and get it. That's what it's all about. And what do your guests enjoy most about Kaimai View Motel? The relaxation, the cleanliness and the comfort of it and the cleanliness and comfort of the things that we strive to, to keep up all the time. So why would you say Katikati is a great place to stay? Oh, Katikati is a great place to stay. It's, it's in the middle of everywhere really. It's, it's out of the city, it's in the country, you're half an hour to Tauranga, you've got the beaches 15 minutes down the road, you've got good fishing, you've got some of the best walks in the Kaimai Ranges in New Zealand. Um, it's a mural town. In the summer we have all the concerts, which are open air concerts. Um, it's just, there's something going on here all the time. And where exactly are you located? We're located at the southern end of town. So town is a two minute walk away. We're on State Highway 2. Um, so it, access is easy, just in and out and you're away. Yeah. And what is your website? Our websites are www.kaimaiview.co.nz. We also have a, an app which you can download from the app, app store uh, for iPhones and iPads. And of course we have an uh, email address of motel at kaimaiview.co.nz. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Pleasure. So why not spend the weekend in New Zealand's beautiful mural town at Kaimai View Motel in Katikati? Well, it's getting to that time of day where I'm getting a bit peckish and there are some amazing smells coming out of the Busy Baker. So let's take a look inside. Hi Bruce and Yvonne. Now tell me about the Busy Baker. We came to Katikati Kati, uh, four and a half years ago and we were looking for um, something to do and we thought, well, another bakery here would be quite good. Um, we looked at what was on offer from the other bakeries and uh, we decided that a nice home style bakery would be um, beneficial to the area. So um, this is what we did, we set it up and um, yeah, no, it's been, been a really good little move. 
So what range of baking do you offer? Well, we do a, a range um, that you would find in most bakeries, but um, we're always continually surprised at the people who have maybe not been here before. They come in the door and they go, wow, look at all this. And, and I feel really proud when I, when I hear that because, you know, we do strive for a good, good product and um, we do our range of breads, focaccia, ciabattas, um, flavoured breads. We don't do white bread. No, we, we leave that to the supermarket. <laughs> and um, plus uh, we've got a, a range of pies, um, our own sausage rolls. Uh, we make and sell everything on the premises, which is what our motto is all about. So it, um, what we can't make, we find out how to. So it it's really, works really well. And what are some of the popular items that are running off the shelf each day? Well, most of the products that we have run out the door every day. Um, some of the stuff uh, jogs out <laughs> later on in the afternoon. <laughs> it's just, because we do such a diverse range of, of small goods, that if I list, listed them, would be here till next week. Um, and we change everything regularly. If something doesn't sell, we stop it and we make something else. And it, that's mainly what we do all the time. We keep the old favourites, you know, like the old donuts. Everyone loves donuts. So what have you prepared for us to try today? Well, today I've got a breakfast, which we call our heart starter, which is bacon, two eggs and toast. The toast today is our um, multi-seed low GI bread, which is low glucosamine index, which means it releases your energy slowly, makes you feeling fuller for longer. And over here, we have our gluten-free quiche, which today is smoked chicken and roast pumpkin, and also served with a serving of Tuscan roasted vegetables. And what do you offer for those with special food requirements? We started off with looking at the gluten-free side of things. We've got an awful lot of um, inquiries for people wanting gluten-free. It's easy enough to make quiche. And then people said, well, couldn't mind a pie or something like that. So um, we developed our range of pies, mince and cheese, uh, potato top gluten-free pies. And uh, we had a, a little girl come in not so long ago and she was just about in tears when she said, Mum, look, a pie. I haven't had a pie ever. She's never had a pie in 10 years because no. she's, she's no, a celiac. Yeah, so it's... Um... Yeah, so it's, no, it's, uh, the gluten-free range has, has really sort of um, come of age now. So it sounds like you go above and beyond for your customers. And do you offer catering as well? Yes, we do our catering as well. Um, we do the local bowling club, RSA do funerals, um, some of the pack houses for kiwi fruit season, um, and a few of the uh, smaller buildings like Trident and things like that. Um, we don't do the really setting up and catering. We just make the food, they pick it up and they take it home. So tell us again where exactly you're located and the hours that you're open. We're open seven days, Monday to Saturday from 7.30 to 4.00. And Sundays we like to have a little bit of a lie-in and we open at nine and close at four. And of course we're situated on the main highway. Um, if you're coming from Auckland, we're at the end of the township. If you're coming into, going to Auckland. Yep, we're, we're, we're at beginning. the beginning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. It's, it's a big yellow sign, you can't miss it. Great, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, yeah, it's good. Yum, that was delicious. So for a yummy bite to eat and great customer service, the Busy Baker in Katikati offers a huge range for the whole family to enjoy. Don't go anywhere as after the break, we carry on our road tripping through to Waihi Beach. If you're looking for a space to hold your conference, school camp or holiday getaway for the whole family, the Waihi Beach Christian Camp offers a wide range of accommodation to suit your needs. Let's take a look around. Hi Rodney, now tell us about the Waihi Beach Christian Camp. Sure, the camp was founded in 1952. Um, there was a vision within the Diocese of Waikato for a place for youth to hang out. So they bought this property and basically it was a open piece of ground with some sheds and a couple of long drops and slowly over the years it um, has built up to the camp that it is today with 
with the bunk room facilities and, and all our existing buildings. So who can stay here? Up to how many people can this place hold? Right, everyone's welcome at the camp. We can take up to 120 people in beds, uh, more if people want to put up tents. Um, we have all sorts of groups staying here, from bike clubs to motorcycle groups, uh, churches, community groups, schools, karate groups. Pretty much everybody is welcome. Now talk us through the rooms. Sure. We split the camp into a few areas. So we've got what we call the Tero Araha Complex, which is our main bunk room facility. We can sleep 90 people there in a 87 beds in bunk room style accommodation. Big kitchen, big dining room, recreation hall and chapel all at your disposal. Um, we've got the building we're in at the moment, which is our lodge, sort of more upmarket. Uh, 16 people can sleep in here. Eight bedrooms, fully self-contained kitchen, showers, bathrooms, nice facility, suit, better suited for older groups or um, families uh, to come and stay here as, as a group. And then we've got two self-contained tourist flats, two bedroom flats, as well as a chalet that can sleep around eight people. And what other facilities do you offer here? We've got a recreation hall, which currently is rented out twice a week to a karate group. So there's people coming here to do karate at the camp. We have our chapel, which sometimes is rented out for groups on weekends when we're not full to have little meetings and um, things like that. Other than that, we're really suited for, for larger groups or, or big families. And can you tell me a bit about the events that you hold here as well? Sure, over the last two years, we've been building up from a family camp in January that we run, which is aimed at people coming with their kids. We take care of the kids in the morning and the parents can go off and do their own thing and then we all get together in the afternoon. That's a four-night camp where we cater and take care of everything. Um, the first week of each school holiday, we now run a children's camp for seven to 12-year-old kids. Each, uh, each holiday has a different theme, and uh, we take care of our kids for four nights. You drop them off on a Tuesday night, come pick them up again on a Saturday morning. Uh, we can take up to 40 children. And, um, it's great fun. It makes me go gray. Each time it's a bit harder. We also run cheese making weekends here over the winter and we're starting off a new event in August which is going to be a photographic weekend where my wife Kathy is a photographer and she'll take people through basics of photography and we'll do some photo shoots around the region. We also have a mother daughter camp that we host and we're looking at some other events and from next year we'll be doing a big Easter camp here over the Easter weekend. Well it sounds like you've got a huge range to keep everyone happy so tell me about the school camps too. We have a lot of schools that come here, unfortunately usually only over Term 1 and 4, with some in Term 2, mainly because schools see the place as a beach, so if it's raining, well what's the point? But we're well suited for schools, because we can take fairly large schools, and um, our pricing is very affordable, so we make it as economical for schools to come here as possible. And where exactly in Waihi Beach are you located? Our postal address is number 66, but we take up number 48 right through to 66 Seaforth Road, which is the main road that runs sort of north-south from the top of the beach towards Athenry. We're about seven, 800 metres from the shops and literally two minutes walk across to the beach. And what is your website? We have a great website. We managed to score www.waihibeach.org.nz. Wonderful. Thank you very much. No problem. What a great location, so close to the beach. And it looks like they've thought of everything for big groups or small at the Waihi Beach Christian Camp. Time now to relax the mind, body and soul at yoga and reflexology at the beach. Jeanette will talk us through the pampering treatments they have on offer. Hi Jeanette. Now, first of all, what is yoga and reflexology at the beach? Yoga and reflexology at the beach is about yoga and natural therapies and day retreats and bringing them all together in our beautiful environment. So what services do you offer here? We offer yoga, reflexology, jin chin jitsu, Ayurvedic head massage, wellness consultations and Ayurvedic lifestyle plans and lots of different day retreats. And can you tell me a bit more about your yoga sessions? There's yoga for over 50s, there's yoga for beginners, there's general yoga and that go through from general to advanced and then there's one-to-one -one sessions with people who maybe just don't feel confident enough to go to classes or have health issues and I also do yoga programs for people 
and yoga therapy and children's yoga, postnatal, pregnancy yoga. Um, I do breathing therapy for people and also do meditation workshops. And your treatments? Um, reflexology is, well it deals with the feet, the hands and the ears and the face and We'll, we'll talk about the feet. On the feet, there's reflexes that match every part of your body, and by working on the reflexes in the feet, there's an energetic connection to that part of the body, and it can relieve a lot of congestion and stress. Um, Jin Jin Jitsu is an ancient healing art, which is deeply relaxing, and in our body we have all these different energy flows and through our lifestyle and our diet and our attitudes sometimes these energy flows become congested and intermingling and when that happens we get symptoms and then we develop illnesses and by working on the energy flows and harmonizing them you're going back to the very causal start and as well as being deeply relaxing it's also quite powerful and Ayurvedic head massage that is a lovely massage of the back and then the shoulders and the neck and the scalp and the face. And I also put a hand reflexology and an ear reflexology in with that. So it's working on all the different pressure points which are called mama points in Ayurveda. And it's relieving a lot of tension but it's also working on lots of different levels. Now you mentioned a bit about your day retreat so can you tell me a little bit more about what these involve? The most popular ones are the Sunlight and Sunrise Beach Bliss and that's when one or two people come and they want to have a special day out. We do yoga at their level and sometimes people are a little bit apprehensive because they say they've never done yoga but, but they all go away feeling very happy with it and inspired to carry on. And then they have a, a meal, homemade bread toasted with homemade conserves and garden teas and then they have the two hours of treatments and then they have a lunch which is three courses and all the food is real food and seasonal and organic where possible and then they have a yoga nidra which is about a, an hour's deep relaxation where I talk them through it and then maybe a sauna and there's always lots of magazines to look at and then we finish with a, um, an afternoon tea. And where in Waihi Beach are you located? We're located at the north end, just up from the surf club, about two minutes. And two minutes to the north we have the bush, and two minutes to the east we have a 10 kilometre surf beach, so it's in a beautiful position. And do you have a website? Website is yogaandreflexology.co.nz the perfect location for the ultimate relaxation in a tranquil setting. Make sure you book an appointment at Yoga and Reflexology at the beach today. Stay tuned as after the break we head on through to Waihi and check out this week's giveaway. From carpet and blinds to interior designs, Dylan Moore's Furnishings has everything you need to furnish your home, apartment or holiday home. Let's go and meet Rex and take a look around. Hi Rex, now fill us in on CC Dylan Moore's Furnishings. Yeah, we've been on the corner here, this is in Street, Seddon Street, Waihi, and we're right on the roundabout and we're very easy to see and people coming from Tauranga or coming from Auckland find it's a good place to stop off and we find it very convenient that they can stop and have a look in our windows and we, as I said we've been here for over 50 years and um, we've been in the same business, furniture has been our business and we're one of the few independents left actually. And what sort of style is your range inspired by? A French look in a lot of the things. We do, we individually pick all our sweet covers that go on here. We don't go for, there's very little leather being used that's locally manufactured on the sweets and whatnot. And we use, you can come in here and pick your own cover and we've got the, the, the girls that are here will help you select your color or whatever suits your style. So we can, we're very versatile. We can change it to anything you like really. 
Now, you mentioned your services for curtains, blinds and carpets. Can you tell me a bit more about that? On the services as far as the blinds, curtains and the uh, carpets go, we will come out and give you a free measure. Um, I've got the two, two women here that actually love coming to work, funny enough. Can't understand that, but they love coming to work because they love playing around with the textures and colours and things. So they actually will come out to your house and, and help you out with your and give you advice on what you like together. And how far does this service reach to? The service we do for most of them in the house, virtually uh, Thongamata and Waihi Beach, Caddy Cat, in a circuit around here, but our customers come from Central in most cases, where they've got places down here at Waihi Beach and Thongamata, and we find that over the off season, um, they often approach us just to, to uh, go out there to their batches and give them in-house demonstrations and things. So what is popular this season to give your home the extra touch? We're probably the biggest seller of cushions. So if you want to just change your lounge around and you don't want to spend a lot of money, you can come in here and we'll have cushions that'll change the whole look of your lounge. We've got a huge range in duvet covers um, and we, we allow people to take them home and have a look at. So if you want a half a dozen cushions, take them home, have a look at them and if they're no good, you bring them back or swap them for more colour. So um, this, we're very relaxed as far as that goes. Duvets are very difficult sometimes and if you come in and get the, there's all different size beds now sort of thing. So. Um, we've got the right through and if we haven't got it in stock we can get it for you straight away so we're quite happy to take two or three duvets home and put them on the bed so you can have a look in your own bed so we, because we're one off store we can sort of do this we, uh, we can bend things to suit the customers a lot easier than we can than um, our city opposition sort of thing. And can you tell me about your range of beds? When we say we're complete home furnishers, we actually have everything from the flooring right through to the top. So um, we run all types of different types of inner sprung beds and um, foam mattresses and everything that's available anywhere is available in and out through our store. And once again, where exactly are you located in Waihee? The easiest way to find us in Waihee is to find the roundabout which everyone goes around outside, out, out a window. And when you're coming around the roundabout, you look right to see for the cars and you look left into our window, so. What a beautiful range. I could spend hours in here designing my dream home sweet home. So next time you're in the Waihe area, head in to Delamores. Well, we have arrived back in Matamata, which brings us to the end of our great road trip. Now, remember, if you head in, into any of the businesses that you've seen here today, make sure you let them know that you saw them right here on Destination Central. See you next week. Bye. This has been an Alpha Media Production, a division of Television Media Group.